What's up, my real fam? It's Epic Realist. I'm back with another video. So today, I feel like talking about something regarding my past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, you guys remember that I'm originally from New York, right? Yeah. I'm originally from New York. We lived in Brooklyn up until I was about 10. <sighs> now, of course, if anybody else has a similar story where you guys moved to Atlanta, then you probably know why. You probably know some of the main reasons why. Atlanta was pretty much, I guess, considered a gold mine back then, as far as, like, you know, cost of living and certain things that were being done to this place at the time. Now, Atlanta's completely shit to me now, but even so, at the time, it was cool, I guess. You know, I was a kid. I didn't know anything about the economy or, you know, jobs or anything like that. But what I do remember is that, you know, my uncle was down here first. My uncle was, um, he moved to Atlanta first, I believe. I think he's been in Atlanta for quite some time. And he was telling us that, you know, it was great. Y'all should move here. You know, we can be close to each other. You know, Atlanta is the shit. <laughs> Everybody still thinks that Atlanta is the shit. And back then, yeah, it was even more evident, I guess, before everything kind of got worse on everyone, like technology and all sorts of stuff, inflation, rent rising, all of that. I guess Atlanta kind of was the shit, but the one reason why I don't want to even think about why Atlanta was the shit was, um, Creflo Dollar's church. I know I've kind of mentioned that before. I know I've kind of mentioned that before in another video. We moved down here. One of the main reasons why my mother wanted to move down here was for Creflo Dollar's church. If you guys know anything about Creflo Dollar, he's a mega, 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 yeah, I can't even talk. Um, probably billion dollar um, Christian pastor right now. Um, he's been pretty popular for a long time. Back then, after his church was built here in Atlanta, it was all the rave. Everybody wanted to go to the church because it makes you seem like you had money. Everybody thought, oh, if we go to Careful Dallas Church, we're going to have money because this church is huge and it's amazing and God's going to bless us if we go here. That's what everybody thought. Everybody thought that shit. So, guess what? My mother got her went into it as well. So, I don't know how she heard about Careful. I don't even know. Maybe it was through TV. Maybe somebody told her. Maybe she was watching them on TV at some point in Brooklyn. I don't really know. But basically, we moved down here. A large part of why we moved down here was for Creflo Dollar Church. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now, these days, y'all know how I feel about church. Church is a scam. Church is a fallacy. Church is nothing but a big old money pit. These mega churches, definitely so. Creflo Dollar Church was just one of those things that's, that drew a lot of people in because of the money. It drew a lot of people in because how he was preaching. It was all about prosperity. And, you know, again, if you go here, you're bound to be, you know, prosperous. And that's what everybody thought. But y'all, we were hoodwinked. We were so damn hoodwinked. You know, if you guys have any experience with these types of things, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but basically we moved down here. A large reason, again, was for to attend Creflo Dollar Church. My mom wanted to be in the area, in the vicinity of this new mega church that she'd never seen, and it was just so fascinating to everybody. You know, I was a kid. I thought it was cool, too, because, you know, you're a kid. Any big fancy building is going to be like, ooh la la, we've arrived. Anything, anything of that sort is going to be like, Mind blowing. It's like we've never experienced this. We're coming from Brooklyn. We're coming from like shithole poor Brooklyn, Bed Stuy, um, where we live in this tiny ass apartment with rats and roaches in our faces all the time. Um, <clears throat> you know, busted up, paint peeling off the walls type of place. So, yeah, we were happy. We were happy coming down here, and it seemed like you know the apartments were better, the state of living was better, everything was better. You know in a lot of ways 
Now, like I said, the church thing was cool at first because, again, I'd never seen anything like it. Nobody's seen anything like it. But now I could care less. I really could care less. You know, I haven't been back to a church in over 10 years. And I don't plan on going back because, y'all, I have seen fallacies behind mega churches. I have seen how everybody got hoodwinked. I have seen and witnessed how preachers just take everybody's naivety and take everybody's money and take everybody's zeal for wanting to worship God and you know all this other stuff they pray on that and they just suck the life out of you I remember going to that church many times and Creflo would just in my words beg <laughs> for us to tithe or beg for us to give our offerings and he would manipulate the Bible verses that said we should do our tithes and offerings. Now I know the Bible does say that but he was hardball with it. Like on the outside looking in you'd see. Like right now if I was in there I would see more um, than what I did at the time. But I already realized what was going on long before anybody else realized what was going on. So I, I, it's just irritating <coughs> knowing that we came down here strictly for that church and that church hoodwinked us all. You know, even my husband, um, I think he said, <laughs> um, him and his mother came down here for the same reason. They were not originally in Atlanta, they still live in Tennessee. And they came to Atlanta for a Creflo Dollar's church. Like, for a church, y'all, it, it's really not that serious. I don't know, maybe people are still doing that now because they really do think that um, mega churches are the shit. Like, mega churches are gonna, oh crap, mega churches are going to, um, get your financial life straight and it's not that's far from the truth y'all far this from it that man doesn't care anything about your finances that man only cares about what's in your wallet him and other mega pastors they all care about what's in your wallet it's just the good ones are able to hoodwink you because they know how to talk they know how to swindle you they know how to talk you out of your money agent they know how to talk you into dropping your entire wallet on the floor and that's literally what was happening and my family it's like I all that prosperity message and you know money comes to me now and all these little sayings and phrases and and then all this freaking shit we used to do it was like it's very cultish <laughs> and the way I feel now is just it's horrible again it's horrible the way so many people were swindled and swizzled and swizzled is that even a word so many people were swindled out of their money and the majority of those people are still broke today. They were broke then, they're still broke today, and I know it. I have seen it, it is proof. My parents went through it. My husband's parent, uh, mom went through it. Um, just a couple other people I've witnessed going through it. <sighs> Y'all, <sighs> that was the shit back then. Preflis Church was the shit. I don't know how, how it's going now. I don't know anything about that. Um, I just know that it was It was, um, oh, I just know that mega churches are not what they are cracked up to be. They never have been. They never have been. So, I just kind of want to talk about that. It's just an interesting part of my past that I wanted to reveal. I just wanted to talk about it. Um, get you guys' opinions. Let me know what you think. Have you ever been through anything like this? Do you agree with me? Do you think what I'm saying is a pile of shit? Do you, you know, tell me. Let me know. Let me know. You know, we're here to comment and talk and, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to think of any interesting topics for you guys because I haven't posted much in a while. And, um, while I have this extra time right now, before I go inside and cook, which is, oh, very soon, um, I just want to talk to you. Oh, fuck, these bugs. Get the hell off. One thing I don't like about nature. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. Again, let me know your opinions and comments. Let me know if you've ever been to a mega church. Let me know if you've been to past uh, past the dollars, um, place, um, any of that. You know, just let me your your opinions and your feedback. Make sure you like this video. I need a lot of likes on the video, y'all. Make sure you do. So, um. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, month, second, hour, minute, and century. 
and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.